So I apologize, your phone overheated. Like I said, this isn't anything professional. This is just me being me. Uh, at the bottom of it, to finish up the story, the master graciously and kindly stated that it looked that like I had been doing it for years. We're going to go inside a little bit later on and I'm going to show you some of the artworks, masterpieces, because they're only one of a kind. You can't, I can't recreate anything exactly the same each time I escalate. So now, coming up to me, please. I want to go back to talking about miracles versus anomalies. For those of you that believe that I am an anomaly, I am an anomaly because of the fact that you know what I've gone through for the last 27 years. I am an insomnia. I am a chronic pain patient. I have hypothalamic gland disorder. In 2014, I was awarded my social security after nine years. And the judge who awarded it because of the fact that they found out that there was corruption and that there were judges that were letting it go for insurance told me that if she would have known that it would have taken two dollars to bring in my medical reports that she would have just gave it to me you're sitting here looking at a man who has two braces one on each leg i have three braces on my body in my abdomen i'm a gastric bypass patient i have hypothalamic gland disorder i'm a chronic pain patient and an insomnia yet i still am able to do the things that i do because the bridge between the conscious and the subconscious is knowledge because i've learned the things that are necessary in my humble opinion so for those of you that think i'm an anomaly i do movie talk let's go to the matrix the end of the movie you let them know that I'm coming. And that I'm going to show these people a world without the machine. A world where they can be united. I have proof in my book that it is the 16th century that religion, religio, the origin of the word, studying their language because the Willie Lynch letters say to destroy the language, to destroy the people. And beforehand, before the 16th century, words like religio and others that I will have a list of later when I sit down with you, okay, meant law. I humbly believe that there is one universal law to begin with. From nothing must come something, and from something comes evolution. From nothing must come something, and that something must evolve. There are two sides, the light and the shadow. That is balance, the black and the white. Although black nor white are colors, but the ends of the spectrum by Noah Webster's definition, 1859. Words like religio before the 16th century meant law in every language. So at the 16th century, the beginning of the age of Pisces, things change. I prove to you in my book, from the series of One Man's Opinion, The Rise of the Phoenix, The Illusions Revealed, by its comparison glossary in the middle of the book, taking you back to 1859 and Webster's own dictionary created for the Queen of England, the origins of words. In my humble opinion, good nor evil are constructs of mankind. Good and evil are constructs of mankind. Stop me here for a 